What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. I've already done this intro about three times because I am super excited, and I can't get my words straight. I'm going to do my best to make it work this time. Dude, update. What a freaking update. It's... Oh, my God. Okay, listen. He's added some new things into the game. Fuses, copper wires... Weapon parts, broken shotgun, broken revolver, broken pistol, broken M4 carbine, broken hunting rifle. So what you got to do is you got to you got to upgrade your repair bench to now stage three, which is brand new. And then um, right here, it says unlock workshop to unlock coal. I'm not sure if this is to repair the gun or to craft the gun. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to find that out together. Um, he's added in an elevator, explosive barrels, fuse box puzzle. Uh, there will be a few dialogue um, and only there will be a few dialogue and only one quest for now. Grammar will be correct, corrected. Basically, um, there's new like dialogue with the uh, the NPCs. Right. And also quests will appear once you once you examine the fuse box. So basically what you have to do is you have to find a new mine that he's put into the game. It's not a brand new mine. It's actually an extension of the mine that was put in last update. And once you find the fuse box, it'll give you a quest that you need an NPC survivor to do. Are we going to get to res rescuing an NPC survivor in this video? I don't know. But the first things first, we're going to go uh, check out that cave because I, you know, I can't freaking wait. All right. So we are going to need some food and a drink. And I don't know where I put my bottles. So you know what? Let me gather everything together. And then we're going to get in the truck and we're going to go out there and explore that. I mean, guys... You know how I feel about my early access games. You know how I feel about these updates. I'm freaking hyped. You know, let's get everything together. Let's get on out there. All right. I think I got about everything I'm going to want for this trip. Um, one thing I've not been doing in this Let's Play is looting enough. I've got like almost no ammo. Um, I'm not really good with the bow. Actually, I don't even have a bow yet. And I probably won't have one today because the animal guts are only halfway dry. So I don't know if we're going to be able to rescue an NPC today. I'd really like to because once you get that quest, you can't do anything with it unless you get an NPC. Like, once you, like, um, look at the fuse box or interact with the fuse box or whatever you have to do with the fuse box, um, it'll, like, then give you uh, a quest that, oh, yeah, you need an NPC for this. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I mean, I could probably rush in and maybe rescue an NPC with the shotgun. Um, I do have a good amount of rounds for the shotgun, which is nice. And I can I can make rounds. I mean, we, we might actually be able to make some rounds after this because... Um, uh, I did some testing uh, just so I knew where the uh, the new mine was because uh, I didn't want to be fumbling around here for you guys. And I did some testing in the new mine and I was in there. And um, spoiler alert, there's a lot more nodes in there. And I did see a lot of gunpowder nodes, which is really what I need. I need the saltpeter and I need the, uh, the sulfur uh, in order to make myself some gunpowder. And that's what I'm looking for. So I did see a lot of them in there, which was just phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I was hoping to get the sniper rifle before I went in and attacked but I don't know if it's going to be that easy to get the sniper rifle anymore because from what I understand the the bandits will very rarely drop full guns anymore um so even if I kill the sniper guy up here he might just drop gun parts and then maybe I need gun parts to craft a gun or I, I don't really know we're gonna have to find out um I love these updates man it's so fun like you know it's one thing I always tell people, like, oh, man, when's this game going full release? When's that game going full release? Not not this particular game. Most people ask it about seven days to die. And I'm like, I never want it to go full release, man. Chain these people to their desk and make them pump out these updates one right after the other. Because every time there's an update, like, one of these games, it just, it just refreshes the whole game for you, you know? And when a game's fully done, then it's just, I mean, it's cool. It's polished. It's a complete experience. But that's it. And, yeah, you can do some DLC, but DLC is never as good as these updates. Not even close. So, um, I'm very happy with these updates, and I'm freaking psyched. You know, I I didn't know the update was was put out today. I was actually this was just the day I was gonna record some, uh, you know, uh, some mist. So, yeah, pretty fun, man. Uh, I'm gonna whip out my shotgun in case any baddies show up here. Is that one of the barrels that explodes? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Yes, it is. So what happens is you get the infected next to these barrels and you just shoot the barrels. And hilarity ensues. So good. So good. Um, I know I'm going to need a um, one of these wrenches or whatever. Uh, these Whatever they're called down below. So let me see if I have... Oh, God, I got like 50 of them. Okay, good. <laughs> I accidentally picked up a lot of them. I did bring my pickaxe, too, because I'm probably going to mine out some ore down here. So... We are going to have to run by the big guy, unfortunately. 
Um, now, there's an elevator to the right of the big guy, but I think it's broken, right? And here, we'll just, I'll show you it. I'll save just in case. Just in case. And then I'm going to show you the other. This is going to be quick. I'm going to have to do this quick, so. All right. So if you look to the right here, there's an elevator. <sighs> and you can press a button down there to get that elevator going, but the elevator never does anything. At least not when I was, like, when I tested that, it didn't do anything. I mean, maybe I didn't wait long enough. I don't really know, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's broken. And I'm going to show you why I think it's broken when we go downstairs. So let's come on down here. And we are now in the new parts of the mine. Hell yeah. Hell to the freaking yeah. I don't think I can go that way. So we're just going to continue going. Oh, what's this? What's this? A ladder going down. Okay. Well, let's go down and see what's what. This is crazy. Look at all these glow sticks, man. I should be able to take some of those glow sticks with me, right? I guess you can't sprint down the ladder. Gotta go slow. Gotta go slow, Joe. Which one of you guys is Joe? Who in the comment section is named Joe? Let me know. Bro. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Oh. That looks like uh, an unfinished part of the map, so that's pretty fun. We're gonna stay away from that. <laughs> Don't want to get don't want to get too close to that and right here don't forget if you jump down here you can always double click to you know pull yourself back up so no big deal all right that's one thing this game has that no other survival game i know i play has that like be able to pull yourself up thing pretty pretty cool pretty cool all right what do we got down here okay and look at this look at this now imagine if there was ores and stuff all along these walls. That's what you need to do. So we just come back, come through here and just clean up. That's what I want to do. I left my room for some stuff. I do have some mortar and pestle with me. All right, so that's just a regular ore. We are not going to bother with that. Don't look like there's anything over there. Oh, here we go. Yep, this is the room. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Freaking saltpeter and, and freaking sulfur for days. Now, it looks like the floor here is not quite done yet. So, there's that. But uh, the guy's busting his butt, man. You know, it's, it's it's developing games can't be easy, right? He's busting his ass. And, uh, you know, the stuff will get to us eventually. We're playing an early access game. We have to be prepared for stuff like this, you know? If you're not ready to deal with these floors, then you, you should probably stay away from early access. <laughs> so, but not me, man. I'm too impatient. I'm from New Jersey. And here in Jersey, we ain't got time to be waiting for full releases. You know what I'm saying? We want it, and we want it now. I want I want the update, and I want it yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So this will be good. So we can make a lot of bullets with this. I've already got a good amount of brass up at the base. Uh, if I can make some M4 rounds, some rifle rounds, that would be best. And then maybe we can go in there and maybe um, get somebody rescued. Oh, look, these rocks aren't done. I keep trying to jump over them, and then I don't... Yeah, I mean, like I said, guys, early access. This is, this is what we... Uh, this is what we get ourselves into when we play these games. So, be prepared. Okay. Where'd that go? Where'd that other one go? I thought there was one over here. Oh, well. What else? Alright, I'm going to mine the rest of that stuff in between cuts. Because, you know, I used to be mining a bunch of stuff right now. Uh, Alright, so nothing over here. Okay. Alright. So, what's down here? Anything up here? Come on. Really? Alright, fine. Here we go. There we go. We got some power. Oh, what is this? Weapon parts. Oh, oh, oh. Old fuse. Now, I don't know where the uh, copper wire is. I don't know if I missed it, if it's around here somewhere. Maybe I get the copper wire from the, uh, from the NPC? I don't know, but... I could not find the copper wire. Uh, the, the copper wire. So there are the uh, weapon parts, crafting material. And there you go. That's freaking awesome. Now over here is the... Oh, oh that's, that's the lever I don't need. Right here is the, um, the fuse box. Check this out. Some crafting materials must be earned from survivor NPCs. You will find the exclamation mark at them if the quest is available. So nothing's hooked up. Can I put the... Uh, Oh, oh, so right there we need duct tape. 
and the wire. I'll bet you I get that wire from the NPC. See, it's it's cut up there. You got to repair that. I can put the fuse in there. Change fuse. Oh, do I need two fuses? Hmm, I'm not really sure about that. I might need two fuses. I don't know. And that will bring down the elevator. Now, I think that elevator is up there where the... Um, uh, I want to call him a demolisher, but where the tanky guy is. But I don't know. I really don't know for sure. Okay, so I'm towards the top of the mine where the demolisher is. Um, ah, demolisher. I don't know what it's called. Berserker. That's what it's called. Um, I'm going to see if there's any explosive barrels that I could kind of screw with him with. Oh, there you Wow, there's... Looks like there's quite a few, actually. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Oh, God. That didn't do anything to him. Look at his hit points. It did, like, almost it did absolutely nothing. That kind of sucks. I'm out of here. Wait, what was that on the ground? Ow. Oh, a pick. Nice. Don't be a hero. Haha, -ha, I'm safe. Just got some hit points, though. What a dick. All right, we're going to go home, and we're going to see what we got to do to make ammo. If we can make ammo easily and quickly, I will go uh, see if I could rescue a hostage. If we can't, it's going to have to wait for next episode. But first things first, we have to get home and see what we need. Oh, here we go. Got some infected. Hold on a sec. Oh, boy. We might not live here. Yep, we're dead. Okay, well, I will get home off camera, and uh, we'll see if we can make some ammo. All right, guys, looks like we're going to need a reloading bench. Shouldn't be too tough. Let's see what we can do here. First thing we're going to have to do is cook down a bunch of crap. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put copper, copper, and zinc and get some more brass. We're going to cook down the iron because no particular... Oh, I'm going to need the iron anyway. Um, what else are we going to need for that reloading bench? Let's take a look. I probably should have looked when it was just up. Uh, what are the what are the ingots? There was definitely iron and um, copper. Okay, yeah. So let's let's go ahead and cook some copper as well. Uh, you know, I don't even think we have any copper ingots. That's cool. At least it gives us something to do with the copper because we've got a lot of copper and very little zinc, and you need more copper for zinc to make the brass. So having something to do with the copper is going to be um, is going to be quite nice. There we go. Put that up there. We'll take this. We'll take this. We'll take this. We'll put that back up there. All right, so let's see what we got. We're going to put this thing anyway. We also need gears, by the way. All right. Um, I don't know. I guess right here is a pretty good spot. It's as good a spot as any. We can always move it if we don't like it. Come on. There you go. And actually, you know what? Can we pick those up? Yep. Kind of getting a little full here. Full here. Throw that out. Just throw that stuff on the ground for now. I'll deal with it later. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm trying not to live like a pig, but at the same time, what did I tell you about my uh, ability to be patient? Yeah, it's non-existent. All right. Wait, did that say workbench? It's a reload bench, right? I haven't used a mouse with there. Yeah, reloading bench. All right. Okay, cool. Now, we are going to need some gears. Um, I can always make some gears. But I think I'm probably going to take apart some cars instead of making gears. Because in order for me to make the gears, I have to use a bunch... Well, I mean, I do have a lot of stuff I can make with the gears. Really? Only one, huh? Alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and melt that. What time is it? Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit late. Now, in order to make the gears, I can always melt down some um, some of this stuff. I wouldn't melt down the components because I'm short on components. Uh, but I seem to have a... I have a decent amount of metal scrap, but not enough to where I just feel like I can, you know, throw it away by melting it down. So, yeah. I think we're probably going to go... I think... Well, not we. I'm going to go hit some cars. And I, I'm going to hit that one... Um, that one car. It's not a car. It's a... Uh, uh, like a mobile home thing. I'm going to hit that one that, that drops the gear. I'm going to hit a bunch of cars and get some more stuff. And, uh, and then I'll come back. It'll be tomorrow, too, because I'm not going to go out at night. All right, guys. Went ahead and got a bunch of cars. Got a bunch of stuff. I should be able to make plenty of casings for the ammo. I just don't know how much gunpowder I'm going to have. That's going to be the thing. Um, so we'll have to see. I did get the one gear. I'm going to need three more gears, but I got plenty of metal. That should not be a problem. Plenty of scrap metal to go around. 
And let's come on down here to the White House and see what's what. Try not to crash in anything. That would be great. There we go. Freaking uh, infected were a mother effort during the night, man. They're freaking keeping me up. It's hard to pass the hard to pass the time like that when they when they're keeping you awake. Sucks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to we're gonna need gears. We're gonna need at least three more gears. So we're gonna I'm just gonna do all of all of these. Actually, I think that's just the exact amount of gears I need, which I was hoping to make some more iron. I do have uh, some more low-quality metal. I do have some more metal scrap inside, but I think that'll be good for now. Alrighty, so what else are we going to need? I think I have everything else I'm going to need, so let's go ahead and work on the, uh, the ammo bench. Just threw a bunch of stuff there. And let's go ahead and finish this up. Well, I'm not going to finish it. We're going to need some wood, too. Um, maybe I should make the... The saw bench. I wonder how expensive that is. Saw bench. I haven't seen it. Um, eh, it's good enough. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it for now. Hopefully we'll have Scott cutting down trees for us. We're just going to grab a bunch of logs. Should, logs should not be a problem in this area. Let's make a bunch of these. Wow, that's a long time, dude. Oh, boy. Yeah, I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to make that saw bench. That's going to be our next thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a real problem. Because you get one less per log, plus it takes a lot longer. Scott should be doing that. He should be chopping down trees and making that stuff for me. should have to be doing that myself. Come on. Come on now. All right. Just three gears left. So let's come on over here to the worksmith place. Worksmith place? Blacksmith place? Worksmith, blacksmith. Eh, whatever you want to call it. You want to call it a worksmith? You call it whatever you like, guys. You're not going to see me getting in the way. There we go. No mist, right? Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. Oh, it's getting dark. Oof, I was really nervous. I don't know if you guys could tell. It's getting dark because I'm starving, by the way. When it was getting dark, I thought it was a mist, and that would have been a that would have been a not good. But it was not. So everything worked out fine. We're gonna have to go hunt the bear pretty soon too. Our our food supplies are um beginning to dwindle. So, but we got everything done in time. There's the mist. We did get everything done in time, so that's wonderful. And let's finish this up. Okay. And, oh, we still need to go outside, too. I need to, I forgot to make the casings. Damn it. Ugh. No. Ugh, it's too late. Son of a biscuits. So, if you sleep at a certain spot in the house, uh, like right there... That's when the infected weren't noticing me and coming after me. Sometimes I feel like if you sleep in a certain spot of the house, it keeps you away from the the um, the perimeter enough to where the infected won't like know you're here. And it seemed to work. All right, so let's come on over here and let's make our casings. And are we just going with the M4? I think. Well, we don't have the sniper rifle. The pistol's kind of weak. So yeah, I think we're gonna go with the M4. That's the M4, right? The Cal 5? Or... I think it is. Nah. I, I probably should know. Oh! We actually need some more low-quality ingots. Okay, well, never mind. Let's get that. And uh, I'm going to make sure those are the right rifle rounds uh, before I make them as well. Okay. And we're looking for the one that's not 51. So this one is the sniper stuff. So this is the one we're looking for. And we'll do 64. All right, that's not too bad. Actually, that doesn't take a lot. So five um, copper <coughs> will give you 64 cartridges. That's pretty sweet. That's not bad at all. Oh, it's almost dark. We're gonna have to wait tomorrow to go uh, to go screw with the um, with the bandits. I got some bandits right down the road, and it's gonna be sloppy, guys. It's not. I'm not really good with precision sniping or anything like that. I'm gonna run in guns blazing, probably die a bunch of times, but I'll eventually um, get it done. All right, so we do need to make the gunpowder, which I forgot to do, because I'm so freaking smart. Uh, only 28 rounds? Damn, dude. It's a freaking saltpeter, man. I need more saltpeter. That's That was what it was, right? Yep, saltpeter. Damn it. Ugh. Well, I have 35 rounds total. I guess that'll, that'll have to be enough. Between that and the shotgun, we should be okay. And there we go. There should be a make max, like, make all button. 
There we go. Awesome, guys. I'll see you in the morning. See, guys, this is where I got to sleep. That's the best place to sleep to not have the uh, the enemy hear me. All right, guys, we're going to go attack the bandits and see if we can uh, rescue somebody. Hopefully, it'll be Scott. But, you know, I'll take anybody at this point. Maybe you can get the quest from any of them. I don't really know. Um, so, you guys know where the White House is? I'm going to show you the bandit camp I'm going to be attacking. It's right up here. Actually, maybe I'll attack from the, from the back. Yeah, I think I'll attack from the back. That might be a good idea. I haven't attacked from this angle in a long time. But this is the way I used to attack this place. Alright, so we're going to drive on down here. Okay, and I think it should be right up there, right? Hey, get out of here, you stinking infected. I'm having a hard time uh, realizing where I am. I think that's their base up there. Yeah, that's their base. Alright, we'll stop here. And let me sit up and see if we can take these guys out. Uh, no, that's not their base either. Where is it? Is that it over there? Oh, that's it. Okay, I knew I was close. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and snipe these guys, and then when they all run at us, we'll just try and mow them down one at a time. Now, I don't know if they actually come out of their base anymore. They used to, but then they didn't, and now I'm not really sure what they're going to do. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to get up on top of that garbage can and maybe take him out with, from there. Yep. I think they're going to be coming out right here, maybe. They didn't do that much damage to me, so that's good. There's only three of them, though. There's going to be more. And I did use a lot of ammo, which is, you know, I knew I was going to. Is there any more? There's only, there can't only be three. Hmm. Is there only three? Is that even possible? I thought there was at least four, or maybe even five. But... I don't know. I don't know, maybe there's only three. Hey, 15 rounds. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, crowbar... Really? Oh no, when I leave this area, they're gonna respawn. I think. Oh, tell me there's a crowbar in here. Nope, I can't believe I didn't bring my crowbar. I never take my crowbar out of my hot bar. What the hell was I thinking? Bag upgrade. Well, they're probably going to respawn when I come back, and then I'm probably going to want to restart the game at that point, because it's really annoying. I can't believe I forgot the crowbar. So there's carrots. I'm see if he's got any gun parts. There's some ammo. Oh, so none of them even dropped any gun parts, man. That's like the new part of the update. I was all excited to get some gun parts, man. Right, I'll take the ammo just in case I don't reload. Ah, what a bummer. Well, guys, I'm back a lot quicker than I thought. The crowbar is actually in my car, which is, you know, good, I guess, but it should have been my inventory. It should never leave my freaking inventory. Um, so here's the deal. When when you used to raid these bandit bases, if you stepped, like, more than, like, 50 yards away or whatever, they would respawn. Now, I don't know if that's still the case, but I think we're about to find out. Nope. They didn't respawn. Okay, cool. So I guess they're now respawning. Well, don't forget when I attacked that big bandit base last season, they didn't respawn for like days. So who knows? Yeah, I guess they fixed that. That's cool. Good, good, good. So we didn't really lose anything there. 15 rounds. Took out the entire camp. I'm not going... Actually, maybe it was like more like 30 rounds, 25 rounds, but... Oh, no. There's not someone to rescue here? Oh, that's the whole reason I came here. Oh... No fair. All right. Well, this is what it is, I guess. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll hit another bandit camp next video. Well, it depends. If I don't get enough ammo, I can't hit another bandit camp. So, we'll have to see. I mean, I guess I could. The thing is, you could save. So, if you die, you just keep trying over and over until you get it. No big deal. But, yeah. I really don't want to have to, like, farm up a bunch of more resources. Because then God knows when I'll get to the next bandit camp. Okay, and break into this. Shut up, timer. 
What do we got in here? Mm -hmm. No, that's pretty cool. I like that. I am not seeing anything else over here. Alright, well, you know, still. Still. Oh, there's some on that table. Probably a knife. Yep. I'm gonna loot your carrot, my friend. And I already looted you, right? Did I loot you? Nope. Looting your ass, too. Alright, so this is like the beginner noob camp, I guess. <laughs> this is the beginner noob camp. Probably most of you guys, when you take out this camp, you take it out with a knife. You know, here I am wasting like 20 rounds on it, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, um, let me know about your experience in the new mine and how do you like it and how excited are you for this update. Um, I'm pretty freaking excited. I think it's been a pretty cool update and I'm really looking forward to farming more materials and getting myself a survivor so I can maybe continue that quest. Um, I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to do everything I can to be able to get a survivor next video. But uh, again, it's going to be tough with the amount of farming. But I will try my best. Anyway, guys, if you haven't enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take it easy.